Dear students, today we will discuss on diseases caused by fungi and nematodes of banana. Banana is one of the important fruits of the world, especially of tropics. It is often called as apple of paradise. Banana accounts for the highest production among the fruits and contributes up to 31% of the total production. Like many other crops, pests and diseases have significantly affected banana cultivation all over the world. Banana is much more vulnerable to diseases than to the insect pest. They affect every organ of the plant and are caused by fungi, bacteria, viruses and nematodes. First of all, let's see the important diseases of banana caused by fungi. First one is the Panama disease or banana wilt. It is caused by Fusarium oxysporum. Now coming to the symptoms of the disease. Symptoms usually appear on at least five months old banana plants. In earliest signs of the disease are faint yellow streaks in the petioles of oldest and lowermost leaf. In the yellowing type, there is progressive yellowing of old leaves and eventual collapse at the petiole. In the non-yellowing type, the leaf collapses at the petiole without leaf chlorosis. Often all the leaves collapse except the center one which remain green and erect for long time. The pseudostem often shows more or less conspicuous longitudinal splitting of the outer leaf seeds that form its outer covering. Roots of diseased rhizomes become black and rot. Now let's see about the pathogen. The disease is caused by an imperfect fungus Fusarium oxysporum. Numerous micro and macro conidia are produced on the conidiophores. The thick walled chlamydospores are also formed. The mycelium is both inter and intracellular within the host tissue. Now coming to the management of the disease. Cultivation of resistant varieties like Poven or Champa and Cavendish. Selection of healthy suckers, avoiding injury to roots and field sanitation practices should be adopted. Application of lime to infested pits, dipping suckers in carbendazim, adderate 1 gram per liter of water before planting followed by bi-monthly drenching starting from 6 months after planting are effective management practice. Highly infected soil should not be replanted with banana at least for 3 to 4 years. Application of sodium nitrate or mercuric salts to the soil inhibits the growth of fungus. Flooding furrow for 6 to 24 months or crop rotation with rice should be done. Next important disease is the Sigatoga leaf spot. There are two types of Sigatoga leaf spot. First one is the black Sigatoga leaf spot caused by Mycosperella physiensis. Now let's see the symptoms of the disease. The first symptoms of black Sigatoga disease are tiny 
sclerotic spots that appears on the bottom surface of the third and fourth open leaf. The color of the streaks become darker sometimes with a purple tints and visible on the top surface. The lesions then enlarge becoming fussy form or elliptical and darken to give the characteristic black streaking of the leaves. Adjacent tissue often has a water soaked appearance especially under conditions of high humidity. When the disease severity is high, large areas of the leaf may become blackened and water soaked. Second one of the cigatoga is the yellow cigatoga. It is caused by Mycosphera musicola. Now let's see the symptoms of the disease. The first symptoms is the appearance of a very small light green dots which elongates into a light green streak. The color of the streak changes to rusty brown which elongates with widening. The streak becomes more elliptical and a definite spot with a sunken dark brown center. It is often surrounded by a yellow halo. The final stage has a grey dried out center and an obvious black margin. Now let's see about the pathogen. Mycosphera physiensis and Mycosphera musicola are extremely close related, but the conidia and conidiophores can be routinely used to differentiate the two pathogens. The disease is spread by the pathogen which survives on dry infected leaves on the field soil and primary infection takes place through ascospores in the infected plant debris. Secondary spread of the disease is through wind-borne conidia and ESCO spores. Spread of disease is favored by warm, rainy or humid weather. Cigatuga leaf spot is common on poor and badly drained soils. Now coming to the management of the disease. Removal and destruction of affected leaves followed by spraying with Bordeaux mixture adderid 1% with linseed oil adderate 2%. Prevention of water accumulation around the plant and going for periodical weeding. Spraying of Ginev adderate 0.25% or copper oxychloride adderate 0.3% suspended in mineral oil. Spring of carbendazim adderate 0.1% or mancojeb adderate 0.25%. Wetting agents such as T-pole or Sandovid should be added adderate 1 ml per liter of water. Next disease is the freckle or black spot. It is caused by Phyllostictina muserum. Now coming to the symptoms of the disease. Minute raised dark brown spots with black dots in the center appear on leaves and fruits. The most characteristic symptom of both type of spot is a sand paper fill to the leaf and fruit. Both the large and small spots are dark brown to black in color. On the fruits, the pathogen is confined to the skin. Severely affected leaves turn yellow, wither and die prematurely.
Now coming to the pathogen. Conidium 4 is simple, short and elongate. Conidia are bilined, single celled and ovoid. Now coming to the management of the disease. Spring of copper oxychloride at the rate 0.25 percent with t pole or centovid at the rate 1 ml per liter of water. The use of a plastic bag cover over the bunch. Next important disease is the anthracnose. It is caused by Glyosporium muserum. Now coming to the symptoms of the disease. On green fruit, pin size brown or black sunken spots develop. The peel has dark brown to black diamond shaped lesions. On yellowing fruit, brown spots initially appear that later become sunken and covered with orange spore masses. Ripe fruits develop symptoms from the tip as minute circular dark brown sunken spots invading the entire tip which become black. A pinkish fungus sporulation is produced in the black sunken areas of fruit. Now coming to the pathogen. Acervuli are usually rounded or sometimes elongated. Conidium fours are cylindrical, tapered towards the apex, hyaline and septate. Conidia are hyaline, oval to elliptical in shape. Now coming to the management of the disease. Spraying chlorothionyl 2 gram per liter of water at 15 days interval is effective in minimizing later infections. Post harvest dipping of fruits in carbendazim at the rate 400 ppm or banomil at the rate 1000 ppm. Careful harvesting, clean packing, refrigeration at 10 degree centigrade after harvest is also recommended. Sanitation of banana plantation are the control measures of the disease. Next important disease is the crown rot of banana. The organisms associated with this disease are Colletrotychum muse, Fusarium species, Verticillium theobrome, Botry diplodia theobrome, and Nigrospora spherica. Now coming to the symptoms of the disease. The rod begins with mycelial development on the surface of the crown followed by an internal development that might later affect the peduncle and the fruit. The bananas may detach from the peduncle in cases of severe infection. Crown rot leads to softening and blackening of tissue at the site of the wound left when the cluster was cut from the bunch. Now coming to the management of the disease. Sanitation of banana plantations, plastic shelving to protect bananas, harvesting of bananas at an age that will ensure a sufficient pre-climatic life during conservation. Treatment of harvested fruits with fungicide. Next disease is the cigar and rot. The causal organism associated are Trachyspira, Frutigena and Verticillium theobrome. Now let's see the symptoms of the disease. A black necrosis spread from the perianth of the tip of immature fingers. 
the rotted portion of the banana finger is dry and tends to adhere to fruits which appear similar to ash of a cigar. Now let's see the management of the disease. Frequent manual removal and burning of dead flower parts and infected fruits. Use of fungicide to control the disease is also recommended. In the packing house, care should be taken to cull infected fruits to avoid contaminating the washing water with spores. It can be effectively controlled by covering the flower with a polythene bag before the hands emerges. Next disease is the pseudostem heart rot. It is caused by Botrydiplodia species, Gliosporium species and Fusarium species. So let's see about the symptoms of the disease. The first indication of heart rot is the presence of heart leaves with part of the lamina missing or decayed. In severe cases, the inner leaves of the crown first turn yellow, then brown and finally die. In more severe cases, all the leaves and plant die. Now coming to the management of the disease. Adopting field sanitation, good drainage and proper spacing reduce the incidence of the disease. Spring of Captan or Dithan M45 or Dithan Z78 is effective. Next disease is the diamond spot or brown spot. It is caused by Sarcospora hay. Now let's see the symptoms of the disease. The spot is black, sunken, diamond shaped lesions, very much confusing with pitting disease. Diamond spot is prevalent after prolonged rainy season. Next coming to the management of